Alright guys, it's the uh, second day of our trip to the Lake District. Our plan at the moment is Tarn House or House Tarn or I can't remember which way around it is. I'm dreadful at this name thing. We'll, we'll put them in the description of like where we actually went. I really need to uh, up my game. I, I just forget everything. Everything I forget. But there we go. So that's our plan plan of action for the day. Again, the weather is the weather's done us all kinds of favours. Mm. The sun is blaring, it's nice and warm. A little bit of cloud cover. Great day in the lakes. Just got here to uh, Paul's Tarn and it is a lovely little place. Not been here before. It's very uh, tranquil and uh, almost remote really. Mm. There's one long walk that goes all the way around. Um, the car park's pretty cheap, although you have to have cash or do it on your phone. Uh, I think it was about 6.50 for five, four hours, I think in the end. It's good, so it's pretty good. Uh, the walk goes all the way around. Everywhere you look in the Lake District, no matter where you go for, even if you go to see the main lay, there's little places like this dotted around the outside that just are equally as nice and they're just nice little gems to add to the, uh, the whole thing. We'll see where Jodie's gone. She can't gone too far, hopefully. First impressions. Again, very pretty. Um, just really nice. <gasps> oh no! Um, things came off. Oh dear. What do we do? Had a bit of a wardrobe mal. Had a bit of a wardrobe malfunction. <sighs> My shoes are talking. I think you're just gonna have to walk around with it. Really? Well, I ain't going back to the car. Well, no, we gathered that, but is there no way of fixing it? Yeah, let me bust out my super glue. Oh, no. Well, they are really old. <laughs> oh. So, we've had a bit of an issue in somebody's footwears let them down my boots are talking so even though this time she has the right footwear the footwear failed failed but as we were saying before we got really interrupted by the talking shoe first impressions of this place are that it is gorgeous little tranquil lake in the middle of the hills we'll put it in the Little description just below here. It's near Coniston, just northeast of Coniston. So if you know where that is, you'll know how far away it is. But it's not too far away from Hawkshead either, so in that sort of vicinity. But it is lovely. One thing you do notice about places like this is how quiet it is. 
I mean, we're, apart from the couple of people you can see behind us, there is no one in sight and it is dead quiet. You can hear the birds, you can hear the wind. Hopefully that's not distorting through the mic. But you can hear absolutely everything. The lake itself is pretty big actually. It's bigger than it first looked. Um, so hopefully when we get up to the next kind of top of the next hill or ridge, we'll be able to uh, get some really good footage over the top of it. I think it's a two and a half kilometer walk around the lake um, with a uh, flappy sole over here. That's going to be uh, going to be hard work, I think. That's not going well. The, 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 the shoe's cactus. And we're only about halfway around, so. Not even that. Yeah, probably not even that. So it's up to me. Hopefully my shoes don't fall apart to uh, go in all the muddy places. I think we're just over halfway and we just got around the bottom of the bottom end of the lake. Um, it's taken us about 20 minutes, mm. maybe not even, half hour, possibly max. Um, and that's with stopping to take photos and view videos and, and stuff like that. But even even looking away from the lake, you've got you've got views like that rolling countryside, um, there were some scramblers riding off there so I don't know whether that's something that you can do up in the hills up here but that's pretty cool we'll have to look into that but what do you think? Yeah I'd love that. What do you think of this so far? I like it. Really nice. Nice and quiet. It is a really nice little, really nice little walk. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's a good kind of, not quite an end to our weekend, but a good closing point to our weekend. Nice little stroll around, around the place. Um, <laughs> sort of just 75% of the way through it yeah. and on the uh, the one side you get treated with these views and they are something special we were just saying that we think that this place has jumped into our top three um, yeah. for views and, and, and how nice and picturesque it is what do you think? I love it this is definitely top three and it's just Quite a big walk, sort of. I don't actually think it's that bad. We've it's been nice. a lot longer. Oh yeah, we're not back yet, but we're nearly there. But the views that you see out here, and again, I'm not sure if the GoPro gives it does this, but it is. The views are incredible. You see all the people down here. All the people over my shoulder this side. See if you can see them. Day like, on a day like today, I'm not sure there's many better places. I might be wrong, but yet again, the lakes, the lakes provide us with something special. And hopefully we get some good pictures for the Instagram and you guys can see, but JD likes it. But yeah. So, mission. Carrying the sole and all credit to Caterpillar Shoes 
if the sole does come off your caterpillar shoe, then just carry on walking. Looks a bit more like a racing shoe at the moment, but <laughs> and you have to yeah. walk with a bit of a limp. a bit of a limp, and it uh, is a bit strange. But <laughs> the glue, glue it back on. yeah, we'll super glue it back on. I've uh, fixed worse, so should be alright. But good bonus that for caterpillar shoes. See, we're not just uh, I'm not just showing you the views. We're testing products too. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, right guys, we have been to Tarn Hose, House, Tarn Hose, How, Tarn House, and uh, we've got some great footage, we've got some great photos as well, and it was, and it was really one of the, uh, one of the, the top, Top five places easily for me um, so far in our time exploring the Lake District. Um, it was quiet, peaceful, um, and the views leaving actually were almost as good as the, the little town itself. Um, the views leaving were incredible. So for me, definitely worth going to. If you're planning a trip to the Lake District, as it goes as one of the not as busy places, if that sentence makes sense. So as one of the least popular or less popular places in the Lake District, even on a busy bank holiday, go there. Put it in your destination, put it in your itinerary, tick it off. It's not far away from Coniston. It's about a 10 minute drive from Coniston. If that, go there. Well, well worth your time. Um, and like I say, you can have a picnic there in front of in front of Tarn or whatever it's called, um, in front of the water. You can have a picnic. You can walk the dogs around. There's plenty of little trails to follow off either side of it. Um, that would be my thoughts. Would you reckon, go? It's definitely my top three. Um, really, really nice. The walk was a bad either. There was a few steep inclines, but nothing, nothing major. Really nice. Um, yeah, I, th I think I'd go again, and I think I'd take a picnic and just sit and enjoy it more. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I think definitely next time, grab a picnic and uh, and go out. And make sure my boots don't break. Yeah, yeah. Make sure the boots don't break. Um, however. Been to the petrol station, filled up the uh, filled up the truck, and got some super glue. <laughs> the truck so far, this journey has not missed a beat. It has flown through everything we have asked of it. We will see you guys later. <laughs>